The Project 159 class frigate, also known as the PETA class by NATO, is a largely overlooked naval vessel, however it has played crucial roles in numerous historic events. Although this surface combatant holds little combat value in modern naval warfare, its saga is far from over. Today we're investigating the Project 159 class, which stands out as both the first and the last in many respects. The Project 159 class is a challenging warship to define. Its original categorization in the Soviet Navy was second-rate Balshoi Pretivalodochny Karabl meaning larger anti-submarine ship, which is equivalent to a frigate by NATO standards. However, today a surface combatant with just over 1000 tons of fully loaded displacement is accepted as a corvette. The Soviet Navy later redefined the Project 159 class as Starozhivoy Karabl, meaning patrol ship, which aligns better with the current perceptions. Let us continue using frigate. Until the end of the Second World War, the Soviet Navy did not need to venture far from the country's coastal waters. So the USSR had relied on small submarine chasers for anti-submarine warfare or ASW missions. Even before the Great Patriotic War concluded with victory, Moscow had ordered over 200 Project 122 BIS class vessels whose NATO reporting name is Kronstadt class. However, while the Iron Curtain arose in Europe after 1945, the Soviet Navy began to require a better armed ASW ship with advanced sensors and extended endurance to protect the coastal areas and convoys from the submarines of the West. Therefore, the Navy staff issued specifications for the new vessel in 1955. The program progressed fast and Moscow approved the design of the Project 159 class within a year. The lead frigate of the class, PLK-1, which was later renamed as SKR-1, was laid down on August 31, 1957, launched on August 31, 1959, and commissioned on December 30, 1961. The last ship constructed for the Soviet Navy, SKR 128, joined the fleet in 1972. The last vessel of the class was HQ 11, which was delivered to the Vietnam People's Navy in 1978. Kaliningrad and Kabrask shipyards built 56 PETA class frigates in three variants. Project 159, Project 159A, and Project 159AE. The early Project 159 variant, whose NATO reporting name is the PETA-1 class, was 81.8 meters long. Its standard and fully loaded displacements were 910 and 1050 tons respectively. Equipped with foot and radar and a 6000 horsepower Type 47B-16 diesel engine, the ship had a top speed of 33 knots. The USSR built 19 PETA-1 class frigates. Fitted with stabilizers to reduce pitching, the PETA class possesses good seaworthiness and can effectively utilize its weapons up to sea state 4. The Kodak configuration propulsion system comprises two gas turbines and one diesel engine. The former drives the outer shaft while the latter powers the central shaft. The frigate offers enhanced habitability compared to the earlier Soviet warships. However, it has a limited endurance of only 10 days. Although the hull has a relatively small draft, the positioning and length of the GAS-372 Jirkiles 2M variable depth underwater detection system have caused issues, striking the seabed multiple times during operation in near coastal waters. The Jirkiles, whose NATO reporting name is Wolfpa, comprises the MG-312 Titan active passive search sonar, and the MG311 Wichigda high frequency active attack sonar with ranges of 5.6 and 3.7 km, respectively. The USSR converted nine Project 159 class ships to M configuration with the NATO reporting name of PETA Mod class. This variant featured towed sonar instead of a hull mounted system. Consequently, a new sonar housing was added at the aft, resulting in the removal of the mine rails. Additionally, the Soviet Navy equipped some Project 159M class ships with the F-band MR-302 Arupka air surface search radar. SKR-64 of this class was fitted with the MNK-300 Kyra non-acoustic submarine search system. 17 SKR-17 was converted into a trial vessel to test the Aurora N sonar and its designation was changed to OS-34. 
The USSR also modified the Pita 1 class frigate SKR 1 to carry the RPK 1 Vichy for trial purposes. Also known by its NATO reporting name SUWN 1, this ASW missile system replaced the bow gun and ASW rocket launchers. The Soviet Navy commissioned 23 ships of the Project 159A variant, whose NATO reporting name is the Pita 2 class. Some of the decommissioned vessels were later transferred to Ethiopia, Syria, and Vietnam. Furthermore, Azerbaijan and Ukraine inherited one frigate each following the dissolution of the USSR. The aft torpedo tubes of two Pita 2 class transferred to Ethiopia were replaced with 122mm 40 barrel BM 21 rocket launchers, and they were also fitted with two 12.7mm machine guns. ARG Gusar, which joined the Azerbaijani Navy in 1992, was later modernized with the assistance of Turkey and the USA. Her gas turbines have been removed and the 533mm torpedo tubes have been replaced with four single-tube 406mm ones. Additionally, a PK-16 countermeasure system has been installed along with the fitting of two AK-230 close-in weapon systems. The bridge superstructure has been extended aft to provide another deck at the O1 level. The export variant of the class was the Project 159AE, also known as the PETA-3 class. The USSR built 12 AE versions for India and Vietnam. The Vietnam People's Navy defines its PETA class ships as corvettes. All Indian vessels have been decommissioned. India defined them as Arnella class corvettes. The Soviet Navy also commissioned two PETA 3 class for training foreign crews and later transferred them to Syria. The Project 159AE class features two 12,000 horsepower M2BE gas turbines and one 5400 horsepower Type 61B2 diesel engine. With a top speed of 29 knots, it has a range of 1,800 nautical miles. The local Sompu State Shipyard modernized one PETA-2 and one PETA-3 class frigates of the Vietnam People's Navy between 2020 and 2023. The radar cross-section of their revitalized superstructure, which incorporates a modernized bridge design, has been reduced. However, since other parts have not undergone such modifications, this does not alter their stealth capabilities. Furthermore, the electrical and mechanical systems of the frigates have been revamped. The subsequent Project 35 class, known by its NATO reporting name of Mirka class, was fundamentally an enhanced version of the Project 159 class. It boasted improved engines that more than doubled the range, as well as modified smokestacks and mass positions. Azerbaijan and Vietnam are the current operators of the Project 159 class. Ethiopia, India, Russia, Syria, Ukraine and the USSR have decommissioned their frigates. The complement of the PETA-2 class is 106 personnel. The vessel has a length of 82.3 meters, a beam of 9.2 meters and a draught of 2.89 meters. Its standard and fully loaded displacements are 970 and 1110 tons respectively. The combined diesel and gas propulsion system comprises two 15,000 horsepower M2B gas turbines and one 6,000 horsepower Type 61B diesel engine. Its maximum speed exceeds 32 knots. The PETA-2 class boasts a range of 2,000 nautical miles, in other words, 3,704 kilometers at a speed of 14 knots. The frigate is equipped with an F-band MR-302 Arupka air surface search radar, an I-band DOM-2 navigation radar, an I-band MR-105-12 fire control radar, a Bizan 4B ESM system, and a Nichrom IFF equipment. The frigate has two 76mm twin-barrel AK-726 guns. With a crew of five, the AK-726 boasts an effective range of approximately 13,000 meters against air targets and 15,700 meters against surface targets. The weapon has a theoretical rate of fire of 90 rounds per minute. Only the ARG Gusar of the Azerbaijani Navy is equipped with two 30mm twin-barrel AK-230 close-in weapon systems, which are effective at distances exceeding 4,000 meters. The weapon boasts a theoretical rate of fire of 2,000 rounds per minute. However, the frigate lacks fire control radar for the AK-230. 
each of the HQ-11 and HQ-15 vessels of the Vietnam People's Navy is outfitted with two V-11s and two ZU-23-2s replacing the torpedo tubes and ASW rocket launchers. The 37mm twin-barrel V-11 has an effective range of 3000 meters and a rate of fire of 180 rounds per minute for each barrel. The 23mm twin-barrel ZU-23-2 has an effective range of 2000 meters and a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute for each barrel. Some Vietnamese frigates are also equipped with two MTU-4S four-tube launchers for the 9K38 IGLA manpads whose NATO reporting name is SAN-10 Grouse. The PETA-1 and PETA-3 classes have four 16-tube RBU-2500 launchers that deploy RGB-25 ASW rockets. The RGB-25 boasts a 21kg warhead and a range of up to 2.8km. In contrast, the PETA-1 mod class had only two RBU-2500 rocket launchers. The PETA-2 class features two RBU-6000 anti-submarine warfare rocket launchers, boasting an effective range of 5,230 meters and a depth of 1,000 meters. The Project 159 and Project 159A classes were equipped with one and two 406mm 5-tube torpedo launchers, respectively. They can launch the SAET-40 Active Passive Homing Torpedo, which has a 100kg warhead and a range of 10 km at 30 knots. The Project 159AE class features a 533mm 3-tube torpedo launcher. It is capable of launching the active, active-passive and passive-homing SAET-60 torpedo, which carries a 400kg warhead and has a range of 15 km at 40 knots. All frigates also possess two depth charge racks and can deploy up to 22 mines except for the PETA-1 mod version. Due to rapid advancements in submarine, torpedo and missile technologies, the PETA class became almost instantly outdated after its commissioning. Nevertheless, during the first Cold War, the Soviet Navy employed these frigates for intelligence gathering operations on numerous occasions, monitoring NATO ships during exercises in the North Cape, the Norwegian Sea, the Baltic Sea and the Mediterranean. Between 1967 and 1970, the USSR deployed three vessels of the Project 159 class in the Mediterranean, one by one, to assist the Egyptian forces during the War of Attrition. When the Ogaden War began, the Soviet Pacific Fleet dispatched the SKR-23 to the region to support Ethiopia against Somalia. As the Mirka class was a modified version of the PETA class, Let's also include SKR-6 from this class here. In 1988, the destroyer USS Caron and the cruiser USS Yorktown entered the Black Sea to gather intelligence by provoking the Soviet fleet. They navigated through the territorial waters of the USSR by exploiting a legal loophole in the international law. The Soviet response was severe. SKR-6 rammed the USS Caron on February 12, 1988. The Indian Arnella-class corvettes INS Kiltom and INS Kachal participated in Operation Trident during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971, providing ASW cover for the missile boats of the Killer Squadron. INS Anman sank in heavy weather in the Bay of Bengal on August 22, 1990. Another corvette was sunk during the Brahmos test on November 23, 2003. Ethiopia acquired two PETA-2 class frigates in 1983 and 1984, making it the East African country with the most powerful navy. However, their combat career would not be as illustrious as this title suggests. During the conflict with Eritrea, one of these frigates, Zerai Deres, sustained heavy damage from the Eritrean Liberation Front and sank in February 1990 near Nakara Island. In May 1991, Following the fall of the port of Asep, the other vessel, identified only by the pennant number F-1617, traveled to Yemen and remained there until early 1993. She subsequently moved to Djibouti, where she stayed until 1995. Djibouti sold the F-1617 as scrap metal to settle unpaid port dues. The ship sank in June 1995 while en route to India for scrapping. On July 21, 1992, the crew of the PETA-2 class frigate SKR-112 relocated the ship to Odessa unsanctioned. She became the first vessel of the Ukrainian Navy. 
Ukraine assigned her dependent number U-132 but did not officially give her a name. The frigate was scrapped in 1996 after a lengthy debate about converting her into a museum ship. A Russian missile sank a decommissioned Syrian Peter-class frigate as a training target on April 15, 2018 off the coast of Syria. The Vietnamese Project 159-class frigates continue to patrol the waters surrounding the Spratly Islands. The first naval ships of Azerbaijan and Ukraine were the Peter class It was also the last major surface combatant of the Ethiopian and Syrian navies. When the Indian Navy gained a brilliant victory, an East African country built up a large fleet or a superpower became a history, the Project 159 class was there. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.